do you feel like your foot or leg turns out either when you're standing or walking around or even when you're just laying down? There's two main reasons why this happens. I'm gonna break them down in this video and help you understand what you can do to fix it and get quick results. Typically what we see on the side of the foot that is turned out, the pelvis is more turned towards that side. You can see that being represented on that right foot right there. And you can see this represented in standing as well. If I turn my right foot out, you can see what happens to my hips and how they face the right side. And even if you have both feet that turn out a little bit, one will be turned out more and that's likely, but not always, the side that your pelvis is facing. So why does the foot turn out? And what is that helping us accomplish? It's not like the body just wants that foot to be turned out for no reason. We're trying to find a strategy we can't accomplish without the foot being turned out. And this leads me to my second point that explains why the foot likes to turn out, especially during moving like walking. Every single step that we take in the gait cycle or movement cycle, our foot arch needs to drop and move into what we call pronation in the early phases of the gait cycle. This lowering of the foot arch helps us turn our pelvis away from that side of the stance leg early on before we start turning towards that side more. In order for this foot arch to drop, we need to be able to move onto the inside edge of our foot arch right here. And we need to find the contact points of our inner heel and base of the big toe right here. That allows us room to drop that foot arch down. However, if we lack the ability to properly pronate the foot and get the knee going over the toe effectively, we need to find a compensatory way to find the inside edge of our foot arch. And the way we can do that is to turn the foot out. And that will allow us, as you can see, to more easily find the inside edge but now you can see how that might be a little bit problematic. That might put a little bit extra stress on our knee. That might put a little bit extra stress on certain parts of the shin and the foot that we might not want. So you might see now how these two things are connected. If my pelvis is turned towards that side and that foot is turned out, I might not be able to fully effectively push out of that side. So what I can do is with that turned out foot, more effectively find the inside edge of my foot arch to push me out of that side. And that can be a compensatory way to get that push from right to left if it's my right foot that turns out. Now that's just most commonly what I see, but you could see a foot that's turned out on either side potentially. And the reason why is just that foot can't properly pronate. It can't find the inside arch very effectively and have the knee go over the toe to flatten out the foot arch. So it's turning out in a way that it can find that inside edge in a compensatory manner. So these are your people that have both feet turned out because both feet can't properly pronate. Now the fix would be because that foot and shin is rotated out. The shin, or otherwise known as the tibia, is stuck in a position of outward rotation or external rotation. So we want to help improve internal rotation, inward motion of this tibia bone, which will allow us to then be able to keep that foot straighter ahead instead of being rotated out like this. And then we need to educate the shin to move over the foot and find an effective pronation strategy. That's the one-two combination. If you like these simplified breakdowns of complex biomechanical problems and you want to finally take ownership over your own body and its problems, then check out my upcoming Own Your Body course. It's coming in September of 2024. It's going to be so easy to understand that anyone can be able to take it. No matter if you're just a desk worker or a manual laborer or you're a grandma, you should be able to watch this and understand what's going on with your body and what you can do to resolve your issues. You can check it out down below in the description. But if you want something a little bit more generic and just a great program that you can run to address a lot of common movement and postural dysfunctions, check out my beginner body restoration program. It's linked down below as well. What you're gonna need for this first one is a little mini band like this. You don't have to use one, but I find it's really helpful for getting a good grip of your shin, which you're gonna need to do. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna fold it, double fold it like this, so that way we can slide it up our shin. And then we're gonna slide it up until it's just below our kneecap, right about there. Guys, watch your leg hair. What you're gonna need is a bench or a flat surface that's around the height of your hip. I wouldn't go any higher than this. A little lower could also be good. Now, you're gonna get your foot perfectly flat on that thing, and you wanna get this back leg in a comfortable distance away from it. So generally right about here, you can be maybe a little further back. Just play around with whatever's comfortable. Now the key is, is you want to align your hip 
with your knee and your foot, but you wanna start your knee slightly behind your ankle right there. So a little bit of a larger angle from your foot to your knee here. You're going to take both hands, you're going to grab this band, okay? Keeping your foot relaxed, you're going to have the weight on the outside of your heel. And then you're going to initiate the movement. What you're going to do is again, keeping your foot relaxed, you're going to lean forward as you twist this band inwards and you're going to feel your weight transfer onto the inside edge of your heel and the base of your big toe right here without losing the outside foot. It's a very slow and progressive movement. It's very methodical, but you're really focused on twisting your kneecap inwards, or at least the bottom of it, and that band is giving you friction to do that. You're gonna twist out as you come back, and you're going to twist in coming forward. And you're gonna stop coming forward once you feel like you're going to lose weight in this heel right here. If you feel like even 1% of your weight's gonna be lost in that heel, you're going too far. What you do not ever want to do is this. You never wanna see the hip going outside the knee. Everyone is gonna to wanna to do that initially. So you have to keep the intention of keeping everything in line and twisting that knee in. What it's gonna feel like is a weird sort of bony stretch in the knee, but it should never, ever, ever be painful. If it is, you're trying too hard or you're just overly pushing that hip out. So please make sure that you are giving yourself a pretty good tug, but never at the cost of anything painful. It'll feel just strange, and that's the only real way I can describe it. So we're gonna sit here and go through reps of this and just making sure, again, we're going from the big shin angle here to pushing that knee over those toes but keeping the weight mostly in that heel. You don't wanna see your toes grip. Make sure your toes are relaxed. Now, some of you are gonna feel uncomfortable and unbalanced when your leg is up on something. You could do it in a half kneeling position on the floor just like this. Just make sure everything is still the same. You're starting with the knee behind the ankle and you're twisting forward, keeping everything in line, making sure that your hip's not dipping out like that, stopping at the point when you feel like you're gonna lose any weight in your heel or you're feeling a pinch in the front of your ankle right here. So for a lot of people, you just have to make sure that you're not going too far and you're really focused on feeling that foot arch go down as you go forward. Right about here is probably where most people are gonna stop and then twist back out as you go back. Now that that shin bone can rotate in better, we're gonna follow that up with teaching the foot how to better and more genuinely pronate. So the way that we do that is to get into this split stance position. This leg can be around this far back and your hips can be turned away from this stance leg foot right here because this is gonna allow us to push our knee over our toe effectively. So we wanna start with our knee locked out so that way that knee is behind the shin. Our weight is going to be on the outside of our heel to start, but we never wanna lose contact with this point right here or the inner heel. So as we unlock our knee, we are going to turn our pelvis a little bit further away from that side as we feel our weight transfer onto the inside edge of our foot arch without losing our outside foot. And we're gonna stop once we feel like if we go any further, we're going to lose any amount of weight in our heel or we're gonna feel a pinch in the front of our ankle. So right here is about good for me. If I went any further, I'd feel like that heel starting to come off of the ground. And then we're going to twist back, starting again with the locked out knee, feeling the weight in the outside of the foot arch and on the outside of the heel. And then we're going to transition forward again, real slow and controlled, getting that knee to go over that big toe, coming back again. From a front facing view, this is what it looks like. As my knee goes over my big toe, it, notice how my knee's going in a little bit. I'm totally okay with that, so long as you're not losing contact of right here. If you do, then your whole foot's collapsing and we don't want that. So it's okay if your knee goes in a little bit. That's gonna help you find the inside edge of that foot arch more effectively, and then you can come back to the start. I'd recommend doing these exercises in order. The first exercise for about two sets of 15 to 20 slow reps. The second exercise, again, for two sets of 15 to 20 slow reps. And then see how you feel when you walk around. It should feel easier for your foot to stay in line, pointing straight ahead, and it should progressively get better over a period of weeks. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and also subscribe. I'll see you next time.